Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Today we're going to be doing the Dragon Ball GT, the Ultimate Android Event and Free to Play Linking Guide. Which pretty much means we're going to go over the actual event, like the, the, the couple of the levels. We're just going to talk about the levels, all the cards that have drops, the medals that drop from them, what they're actually used for. Um, and some basic linking guides for the characters that actually drop to see who they're going to link the best with. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So Dragon Ball GT, the ultimate android. So uh, first one, level one, the Omen of Catastrophe. You're just going up against Agility 17, nothing crazy there. You do get some training locations, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, level two, Hell Warrior, Cell, and Frieza. You actually get the drops for both the Intelligent Cell and the Physical Frieza. You also can get the medals that Dokken or Waken their actual summonable counterparts, which if you guys are um, looking at this in the future, there's currently the banner that drops the two cards, the Frieza and the Cell. They have the same exact title, um, the Resurrected... Well, uh, Frieza Final Form GT and Cell Final Form, uh, Perfect Form GT, uh, except they're just different attribute types with better passives, obviously. So you're going to need these medals in order to Dokken Awaken them. So that's where you're going to get the two medals. And again, when I go over that team building guide, I'm going to talk about this uh, event and where to get them. So don't worry about that. I'll give you a reminder in that video. Level three, Tragic Siblings, just going up against an Agility 17. Um, you get uh, an 18 drop from here or training item. So you're going to want to get the free to play 18 from here. Again, 18, really not that great in my opinion, but 18 GT, she's a different name. Um, oh, before I forget, uh, I didn't talk about level two. Uh, you, you're going up against um, the physical cell and Frieza uh, two times. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You don't really have to worry about it. It looks like you're going up against them two times uh, for, for each level. So don't worry about that, though. Should be pretty easy. All these are pretty easy to go, go along with. Um, level four, strong foes rivaled from hell. Um, you're going up against different levels, a different couple people. You either go up against Miru. Uh, was it Mur Miru? Rildo. <laughs> Sorry, Rildo or Android 19. Then you go up against uh, Nappa, Rage Nappa, and then you stop at um, 17. So there you go, and you can go and get your Agility 17s or medals from there that you can drop. Looks like it's just going to be Corrin medals, well, it's going to be Agility type, specifically. So you're going to go ahead and grind out your 17s from here. Um, it's Hellfighter 17, which is cool, because that means the Hellfighter 17 is now free to grind. I think before you could only summon, um, you could only summon him. So that's awesome. The Hellfighter 17 is now free to play, technically, in order to uh, get off the Super Attack 10, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, level five fusions of two androids. You know what? We're gonna check that out in a second, just really quick. Uh, fusions of two androids. You're gonna go up against uh, Android 17, the technique one. You get some awakening medals, which is that. Uh, level six clash Super Saiyan 4 versus Super 17. Uh, go up against Android Super 17. Uh, you get some Dendes or King Yemas, which are actually pretty damn decent items. Myself, I have my uh, Dendes maxed out, but I could use some extra Yemas. I'm, I'm not gonna farm them though myself. Uh, level 7, a great turnaround. You're going up against Super 17, and you get your Goku medals, which will Doken Awaken the actual Goku card uh, that's that's uh, summonable as well. Again, when I talk about that, the reason I haven't done a team building guide at this point in time is because he still has Shattering the Limit on Dokkan Battle Builder, and I want to give you an accurate team building guide. On level 2, you have to choose between two paths. One will lead to Frieza on the map, and it will drop either... Um, the Frieza or the Frieza Metal, the Frieza card or the Frieza Metal, while the other path is going to lead to Cell, which will drop either the Cell or the Cell Metal. So that's awesome how it's not a toss-up in the air, so that's pretty damn good. That's actually really good. So that definitely will help you out when you're trying to look for those things. Um, so yeah, that's all that's available right now. In terms of 17, Hellfighter 17, yes, he does. Um, let me go ahead over here. Maybe I could, uh, do this Hellfighter 17 and see what happens. I know we have the Hellfighter, Hellfighter 17. Um, one, two, planning. Wow, there's so many Hellfighter 17s. What is this? Oh, man, this is there's so many damn Hellfighter 17s, I guess, right? The intelligence one, the technique one I know is the, the semi-farmable one. This is the farmable one. Um, and then I guess that's the TUR variant of him. Um, and that's just Android 17, Hell of Earth in unison. Yeah, we don't want that. So, um, yeah, so that, that's going to feed into the intelligence one that I wanted it to feed into. Uh, this is the SSR, and this is the one that I kept that I was using for the semi-farmable card. So, yeah, that's what you do to increase his super attack. Um, the next we're going to be talking about, as you already seen, the Frieza. Resurrected for Revenge. Frieza Final Form GT. This is the farmable one. Leader ability, intelligence type key plus two. Attack and defense, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, super attack, death slicer, supreme damage, medium chance to stun the enemy, which is pretty cool. Passive skill, life and death. Extreme class allies, key plus two. Attack and defense plus 25%. Reduces damage received by 30%. So a pretty decent passive, going to be a good support unit. Um, link skills are prodigies, universe's most malevolent, shocking speed, strongest clan in space, nightmare, and GT. Some really good link skills for a free-to-play unit. Keep that in mind. We're going to skip over the stats for this video uh, just because I'm going over four droppable cards and I want to keep it below 15 minutes if I possibly can. 
12 key multipliers 135 percent and um obviously he could be he could be increased to increase the super attack he could farm to increase the super attack of this guy which i already talked about again uh, when i talk about this guy's uh, team building guide i will definitely bring this up again but he increases this guy's super attack if you have, happen to summon him so that's pretty awesome. In terms of linking guide, as you see over here, best links in game are going to be all the different freezes, uh, at least the golden freezes in the full form. Uh, full power freeze of four link skills over here, which is going to be, let's see, it was 10% attack buff, uh, nightmare, so he gets, what, 20, 35% attack buff and two key. Then you have all the golden freezes he links for the three link skills with. Not that bad. It looks like it's going to be 35% uh, and two key. Um, Yeah, 35% and two key pretty much all, all around. Um, he also links with the Korra. Korra is 4 key and 15% attack buff. The full metal Korra, or the new LR, is 4 key and 10% attack buff. The old support unit Korra, which they're never going to really be together, but 2 key and 10% attack buff. The new cell he links with, which is the farmable one for 2 key, 10% attack buff. Super se uh, so yeah, Super 17, 4 key and 10%. And Hellfighter is 2 key and uh, 4 key and 10%. So pretty awesome in terms of his best linking buddies in game. Obviously, number one is going to be full power Frieza. In terms of mono intelligence, uh, we already talked about the Hellfighter 17 and the Angel Golden Frieza, um, the Koras, um, and the regular uh, the regular Frieza, pretty much the regular Golden Frieza and the Cell. So pretty much you already know everything was on the other actual uh, screen. So I don't really need to talk about any of them again. But that's who he links with. Three or more link skills. Not the best in game uh, in terms of linking, but he's a good support unit. So. While it, you would want him to, at least, you know, he has some key links with pretty much everyone on this. Or at least from what I showed you. Uh, the next one is going to be the Rival for Retaliation. Cell, Perfect Form, GT, Leader Ability, Physical Type, Key, plus 2. HP Attack and Defense, plus 30%. Super Attack, Special Beam Cannon. Supreme Damage the Enemy, and Seals Super Attack. So he's a Sealer. And while the Cell, or while the Frieza is a Stunner, or possible Stunner. Passive Skill, Strength, Gain from Death. Extreme Class, Allies, Key, plus 2. And Attack and Defense, plus 25%. Recover 7% uh, health at eight, uh, HP at the start of the turn. Um, link skills are Gentleman, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Ultimate Life Form, Nightmare, and GT. Max stats are HP. Actually, we're skipping those. Um, the one thing I want to say is this Seal Super Attack and this Stun um, on the Super Attack, or Medium Chance to Stun, those are going to come into play with the cards that you could actually summon from the banner because I believe it is the Frieza, if, he's, if the enemy is Steeled, he does an additional like 100% attack or 80% attack, something like that. Um, with uh, with a great effect of I, I think I think it's the Gogeta passive. I'm gonna look into that before I do the video, but I think it's that Gogeta passive. So, but they have to be sealed, and then vice versa. The cell, uh, the other cell, if he has um, if the enemy's stunned, he does a lot more damage as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Twelve key multiplies one thirty five, and he increases the super attack of this cell over here, which is um, yeah attack plus eighty percent attack against effect of all types when the enemy is stunned. So yeah, so pretty much what I said before. Um, he increases the super attack of this guy, so if you want to farm him out, if you pull the int intelligent cell, you could definitely go ahead and do that. In terms of best linking buddies, he links with the Hellfighter 17, the Super 17 for 3 key. It's pretty much just the GT stuff, so you have the GT 10% attack buff and 2 key over here. Let's translate that to English. The same thing with the Super 17, which is going to be, if I could just hover over it properly, Shocking Speed GT and Nightmare, 10% and 4 key. Again, he is a support unit, so um, same thing with the Frieza that we just talked Well, This is the uh, free-to-play, this is the summonable Frieza, not the free-to-play. 4 key, 10% attack buff. Ice Shenron, actually, or is this Nova Shenron? Um, this is not telling me what this is. So I think this is the Nova Shenron. Um, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, so four key, so six key total linked with him. Uh, plus, don't forget his passive, which is two key. Uh, and then Paikuhan, which is going to be Brainiac, Gentleman, and Shocking Speed for 10% and four key. Uh, overall, not bad, but I mean, uh, so uh, let me put this. Paikuhan is definitely not a really good unit. Um, Super 17 and Android 17 or a Hellfighter 17. If you're running like a villains team, this is going to come in handy. Otherwise, outside of that, they're probably never going to be on the same team. Um, unless they make like an Android an Android oriented team. Um, anyway, in terms of mono physical, we already talked about this uh, this freeze over here. For two links on a mono physical team, it's just going to be two link skills, two key, four key total. So you have GT and shocking speed for the Omega Shenron. So that's all you have. Nothing too crazy. Um, next is going to be the Hellfighter 17 planning for fusion. We already talked about how he feeds into the intelligence one, so I don't got to talk about that. Leader ability is agility type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Extreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack, hell uh, breaker. Passive skill, steady build up. High chance to evade enemies in tech, including super attack. So he's a dodger, guys. He's another dodger with a high chance, which, which is, I think, a Khalifa passive. Uh, so he's going to be dodging a lot. Link skills are android assault, fear and faith, brutal beatdown, nightmare, shocking speed, and GT. Um, 12 key multiplier is only 130%, but hey, you know what, he's a dodger, if you don't have a good dodger, that might come in handy for you. 
in terms of best linking buddies, um, he surprisingly links really well with the Super 17 that we have over here. I, damn, this thing's over. Oh, there we go. That's why. So five key links or five link skills with this guy, which um, let's see over here. I think I saw a 5,000 defense buff, which isn't great. So artificial human defense plus 10,000 uh, up, which isn't great. Shocking speed, GT, and fear and uh, faith or fear and uh, despair which is six key, which is actually awesome, uh, and Nightmare for 10%. So in terms of key, at least this guy will be linking with him. I mean, you could throw him off for like a rotational just because he shares all that key on a Super 17 team and just throw your Super 17 in the middle if you're lacking uh, good links with him um, or if you need some more additional key. Um, for the Intelligence, we have the two Janembas that he links very well with, which is was a 20% attack and four key, and the Omega Shenrons, which is going to be six key and 10% attack buff. Um, pretty decent i mean you're never gonna really you're not gonna run them too often together um but you can run them i mean if you're doing a super 17 team you're definitely gonna run them in terms of these guys linking together you honestly they're only gonna really link if you're doing a um a, a villains team uh, that's the only time i could see them at least at this point in the game in terms of model intelligence uh, it should come to no surprise to any of you that his best linking buddies are going to be all of the androids lr android 18 17 and 18 um android 17 and super 17 the androids, he only links for 4 key and 10% attack buff. That's not horrible, but not great. And seven, regular 17, he links 2 key at 10% and 1,000% flat out buff for the, to defense. So again, not great, but at least he dodges. So if you're missing someone for on this team, um, you could at least put him next to 17, the Super 17 for good links. Uh, last but not least, the Morning or Mournful Fury Android 18 GT. Strength type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, power Blitz, Supreme Damage, the enemy raises it, allies attack plus 30% for one turn. Actually, interesting, since they gave this free-to-play 17 Extreme Damage, he has Supreme. Passive skill, Tears of Anger, Defense plus 70% at the start of the turn. Uh, additional attack plus 70% for three turns after being attacked. It's not great, actually. That's really bad. Um, so that's probably why. I mean, for three turns, she's only useful. Outside of that, she's not useful at all. Um, link skills are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Battlefield Diva, Infinite Energy, and Cold Judgment, and GT. Um, and a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Her additional attack plus 70% for three turns activates only once per battle. So that's it. No phase changes to help her out. Jeez. Um, in terms of her best linking buddies um, in game, as you probably all under, like un thought of, it's going to be all the Android 18s. Uh, the three of them over here, this is going to be, well, let's uh, translate that to English. Um, this is artificial human 18. So Android 18, Android 18, Android 18. The future Android 18 is only three. And then the um android 17 android 17 from super um and yeah so these are pretty much just none, none of the none of the future 17 just the android 17 are here so for the android 18s it's two key six key and a thousand percent or a thousand flat out buff six key a thousand flat out buff six key a thousand flat out buff um the future 18 is going to be four key and a thousand flat out buff um pretty much the same thing with the 17 so that one's 17 that one's seven yep and this one so pretty much the same damn thing so really not that great. I mean, and honestly, you're never going to really run any of these girls anyway, or these guys anyway, at least in my opinion, maybe an orb changer, uh, eight, uh, 17 at some point, but that's about it. I don't really ever see running any of these people on a team because most of them aren't really that useful. Maybe this 17 went because he is, uh, let's see, what does he do? Attack and defense plus 70% up and then protect ball. He gets additional attack. So that's pretty good. But other than that, I don't think so. Um, the other one, the last one is going to be a mono strength team. Two or more link skills. I mean, I already talked about this 18 over here um, and this 17 over here, but um, honestly, she doesn't link that well with anyone over here. This Trunks, and that's only because she has GT. The only reason why like she actually has these three is because of the GT link. Outside of that, it's really nothing. 20% attack, uh, defensive buff. Uh, the Pan is two, two additional key, and this Oob is 20% 20 20 defensive buff. What is that 20% defensive buff? It's not... Oh, so it's Cold Judgment. So that's really it. She's really not that useful. Again, usually the Android 17s and Android 18s usually aren't that useful. Um, in this case, the Android Hellfighter 17 is a little bit more useful than others, um, only because he dodges and he links very well to, with an actual 120 leader. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, stay tuned. I will be doing the other actual farmable unit, the drop units from the banner. I'll talk about a team building guide on them because they actually fit under specific categories. And I want to make sure that I could actually give you guys uh, the category breakdown. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you again for joining here today. If you made it this long, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll catch you all later.